Hey there, nerds. Jimmy Bonquist here. And I'm a big fan of reading number ones in comics. I think it just is a great way to start, obviously, and it gets you into a book, or it tells you, do not go on. One of the books that I've had the pleasure to read, pick up, is one called Double D. I had no clue what this is going to be about. Uh, I understand Double D refers to bra cup size, so uh, that was in my mind, I'll be honest. But at the same time, I was like, they're not making a comic book about this, so what is this about? Very interesting. It starts a little slow, almost like, and I have two young kids, so I know the story of Alexander and the Horrible No Good Bad Day. And it kind of starts out that way, and I'm like, all right, is this a child's book? What is this? What am I reading? But then, near the end of sort of that first bad, awful day, we see the superpowers emerge. And it's mainly, uh, it's a very interesting, because the main character is a an overweight boy, and he's picked on in school, and the running thread in this first day or bad day of school is he keeps getting hit in the head by a shoe. So we get to gym class, and he tries to make an excuse for not participating in gym class, and that he forgot his gym bag, because he doesn't want to run a cross-country course, or some kind of race. Well, the te gym teacher finds a solution, and you kind of feel like, oh my gosh, this gym teacher is there to antagonize him, and is sort of the bully meanie, apart from the students who are doing it too. And we find out that he's going to wear a skirt with like gym shorts underneath, and a shirt, and he looks slovenly, and almost... Yeah, like almost like having a dunce cap on him. Like, yep, here he is. Look at the look at the fat kid. You can't do anything right. So he runs the race and he gets really angry in the race and all these bad things that happened that day. The situations he's been put in. He's not happy. And out of nowhere, he goes from being in last place and zooming to the front, beyond the finish line. And as you're going, as I was reading it, the art. It looked like he was getting slimmer. And I'm like, I don't know, is that bad artwork? What's going on? You come to find out that he has superpowers that are tied to his metabolism. And with his metabolism speeding up because of the superpowers, his body eats the stored energy within his body. Thus, he goes from being fat to skinny. So, okay, I interesting concept. I like that. That's fun. I think most nerds around the world can appreciate, wow, that'd be cool. But then we enter into some intrigue, and we find out that the high school he's going to really needs to have a better background check system, any kind of screening process, because it doesn't appear they have any. And we find out that there's some... Um, shady characters at the school and we find out that some of the shady characters at the school are not what we thought they were. We also get to see that his main antagonist, the main bully, his own age, uh, really goes overboard and it becomes something that started as sort of a reality based Alexander and the Horrible No Good Bad Day into a sort of sky high uh superpowers and some experimentation and stuff. Now, I'm not saying this is a children's book. I'm saying it's a little bit more mature than that, but it is definitely not violent or cussing or anything like that. I was pleasantly surprised. It is a longer book. Um, it's not a trade, I don't believe, but it is a longer book. And I was, uh, I was surprised how long it was, but it didn't bother me because I was enjoying the story, so I kept reading. All that being said, I would highly recommend you check this out. It is worth the read. I'm curious to see where this is going. I'm going to go ahead and give it 3.5 out of 5 Nerd Skulls. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.